Good morning. My name is Nathan Paul. I'm a primary care doctor. I work up in Woonsocket. And I'm here kind of to, to try and bring some of the stories of my patients to you all to kind of put things in perspective a little bit. Um, this morning when I was listening to Rhode Island Energy present, presenting the rate hike, um, you threw a lot of numbers, a lot of percentages, and I was trying to follow along, but one thing that was clear was that you guys are really good at making these calculations. Like, you can make fancy calculations. What's interesting, and I guess not surprising, is we're missing the other half of the calculations. Yeah. Right? We're, we're talking about public utility. Half that word, half those, the, the, the title is public. Where are the calculations on how this will impact the public? We have you are working people here, taking time out of their day, they have to take care of their families, they have to come here because you're not saying that second half, right? You're not talking about, okay, so this war in Ukraine or whatever you want to say is raising the prices by this much, we have to now increase the, the, the rate by 45%, 50%, whatever it is. Okay, finish that sentence. This will then lead to a 15% increase in homelessness. This will then lead to a 25% increase in trauma, whatever it is. A lot of these statistics are calculable. You guys are really good at calculating numbers. Why are we not finishing that sentence is the real question here. I have a patient who I just recently spoke with, $840, that's what she gets in income. Her rent just went up $200 this year. She's not able to purchase her, her blood thinner medication. Without it, she's gonna get another stroke. You're telling her you have to choose between getting a stroke or freezing this coming winter. Yeah. That's what we're talking about here. And I think that that's just insane. I think the fact that people had to show up here to, to share their trauma, to share all of that, just to make a point that was so logical. Like, it is, it's, it's so obvious. You cannot just say, oh, by the way, prices are going up. Here's a 40% um, increase in rates. You cannot just stop there. You have to then account and own it. You have to then talk about all the trauma and the public health crisis you are about to trigger if you allow this rate hike to go up. So for the, for the PUC, I would ask, let's make a law that if any time there's any kind of hike that is going to be proposed, you must include a public impact assessment that is transparent and, and actually reflective of the reality on the ground. We can do that. We owe the public that much so that people don't have to come out here and share these stories because we can easily calculate that. Thank you.